is good, YouTube? It's your boy, JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jesus from the Big Easy here to welcome y'all back to the show. Man, today, I got pretty much mm, a somewhat haul video. I know it's been a little while, but I just kind of been wanting to get through a couple of these new purchases I got for the new year. Mm, excuse me, but before I get into that, before I get into that, I'd like y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and follow me on all my other social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. And let me fix this camera a little bit. Y'all good. There we go. And with all due respect, um, I will be getting back to the no capping episodes. I will be getting back to doing that once I get everything configured. Trust me, there's been a lot that's been on. I also will give my top, probably, I'm going to do like a top 20 Fitted calves of 2022, maybe top 22 of 2022. That sounds a little better. I might just do that. But um, I like to say thank you to each and every last one of y'all who's been tuning in to all of some of the older videos since I've been gone. But I have not forgot about y'all. I will be uh, doing that giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that video. I do have a hundred dollar gift card giveaway coming up soon. And without any further ado, let's get into some of these pickups. And in no particular order. Uh, or most of these hats gonna be in for my least favorite, but I am gonna address one of these hats, and that is this one right here, which is my favorite, one of my favorites, but I had to address it because of the horrid, horrid, horrid situation that went through. So, this hat I got in 2023, which I should've got in 2022, but the story of this hat is, I ordered this hat on December 10th. Messaged them about maybe four or five days later about not getting no tracking, not getting no, uh, any information on regarding the hat. So got a uh, message saying delayed shipping. Now I've been getting stuff coming back and forth from Canada and also across seas. So I'm like, that shouldn't even be a problem with this. But Peace Collective prolong, 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 prolong. So finally I had hit them back again and they were like oh well it's in transit or whatever but they had just shipped it out that exact same day but the hat is dope but i just had a bad experience with the customer well a bad experience overall with the shipping i it literally took me a month to almost get this hat but let's go ahead and get into it bam it is the la dodgers script done in that camel color as y'all can see right there, we do have a two-tone camel crown, blue visor. We do have the white Dodger script with the outline blue on it, which I really, really like. Um, we do have a tunnel out new era logo, flat baddy on the back. We got the Dodger Stadium 40th right here. As y'all can see right there, they've been using this logo a little more now than what they have in the previous couple of years. And we do have a gray UV and we also have white guts and all the tagging and labeling. I know a lot of people are gonna compare this to probably the, um, what it was. Liz did a, a drop similar to this. It was the, um, what it was the, uh, Risky Business, I think, pack. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll put a picture of the pack right there. But this one's actually a dope one. I love the fact that they did the script on this one. Very, very nice in my personal opinion, so. Dope hat, bad service. This comes from Hat Stop, and they did a dope script pack with a couple of NFL teams. And bam, as y'all can see, we had the New Orleans Saints done in that Vegas gold colorway, which is pretty much the home team's color for the most part. But you know, we call it old gold, they call it Vegas gold. Pretty much almost wasn't what you would kind of tell the difference between them. But as y'all can see, we do have the Saints logo done in black. We also had New Orleans in that gold metallic black visor black new ever logo we have the nfl logo on the back and we do have that 30th anniversary side patch right there on the back on the side very nice and what makes this very very beautiful in my personal opinion is that kelly green uv and the black gut really sets it off for the most part very happy to have this one in the collection probably one of my top saints hats that i received last year i mean this year this year i got this this year now this one, this one came real late in last year. Um, actually, I think it was the last drop of the year, if I'm not mistaken. But bam, 
It is the Milwaukee Brewers done in that uh, happy hour pack from Liz HD. I think this was the last one they dropped that year. I'm not 100% sure, correct me wrong. I believe it was, so I really got it in January. And as y'all can see, we do have the metallic gold M on the logo. We have the uh, maroon burgundy crown, I mean visor right here. Metallic gold New Era logo. And we do have the flat baddie on the back and that gold, uh, excuse me, that gold all uh, Vegas and metallic gold on there as well with the burgundy. And we do have that beautiful World Series patch right there. And we do have a metallic undervisor on this one. This one actually came out really nice. And I think this was probably one of the first ones to go. Definitely glad to have this Milwaukee hat in the collection. And this is actually a restock that happened on Hat Club. And this is, bam, the Coors uh, Banquet Bear Hook uh, Anaheim Angels. Very, very nice in my personal opinion. I wanted this one so bad last year, but it sold. This was one of the first to sell out. And I'm happy they did re restock on it. And they, uh, biggest hit song um, drop that they did. And I was able to get this one no problem. And I think it sold out again. And as y'all can see, it does have the vape, like pretty much like a, it's not, it's almost like a Vegas gold, but it almost looks tan. But we got the black. A logo on there with the red halo, black visor, tunnel, tunnel on the rubber logo, excuse me, flat baddie on the back, and we do have that 25th anniversary side patch on there as well, very, very nice, and a gray V, and black guts, nothing too out of the way, but very, very nice, in my personal opinion, I think this is probably everybody's favorite, one of everybody's favorite hats from last year. And next, let's get into this right here. So, top, I don't know, I'm gonna just say this. John Jay and Pat from Toppers have been I'm just not gonna lie this out the park. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get through a few of these. I'm gonna just blend it in. And this is probably gonna be either the two that actually came from Toppers. And I think Pat was really proud of one of these packs. He actually did this one. Bam! He did a satin pack dedicated to the starter jackets of the 90s, as y'all can see right here. It is the LA Dodgers done in that dark navy colorway, and it's very nice in my opinion. You can see how the light's shimmering off of it. Very, very clean in my personal opinion. As y'all can see, it's an all dark navy crown with that satin material. We do have a LA and white tunnel out in the world logo, flat batter man. We have the 50th anniversary patch on there as well. Topping it off with the Kelly UV. And also this has a satin line on there. So this is really, really nice to the touch. Very, very nice. I love how Pat did it. He did multiple teams in this. And I think I'm going to go back and get a couple of teams. But as y'all know, they're not shipping in the U.S. So you do have to get a reshipper to get these hats. Um, Very, very nice in my opinion. This, is actually, this one actually kind of feels a little bit better than mine. For anybody that don't know, I do have satin hats. Uh, I do have the, this is an older satin hat. I think this is probably three years old, three, four years old now. But as y'all can see, it is the LA Dodgers done up all black, same, same thing. Satin material, but this one, this one actually feels a little bit better crafted as opposed to this one, because this one, yeah. Like, this one is just super soft to the touch, and this one's still kind of, has a little ruggedness about it, but still one of my favorite hats. But definitely had to add this one to the collection. Shout out to Toppers on this dope ass Saturn, Saturn starter hat. <laughs> uh, inspiration Dodgers. Two tone. From Toppers, as y'all can see, we do have the LA Dodgers done up in that uh, chrome and black two-tone we have the light baby blue on there as well on the Dodgers logo tunnel on the flag flat batter man 50th anniversary logo one of my favorites and as y'all can see on here we do have an icy bottom and just like the satin this one has that satin inside line which I really really like for the most part definitely a dope hat if you haven't got it already they should still be available on top of right now if you 
have access to get it. But um, definitely a dope pack, my personal opinion. So shout out to Tyler. This is from Extreme Sports, and this is probably a grail status hat for me. And this is, bam, the two-tone Dodgers done up in the navy and red colorway, similar to the Angels. Um, some people have done other versions. They call it the uh the rocket pop uh some of them did the uv with the blue on there others did gray some did green so this is actually a grill for me i remember this when oh two it was actually was it oh two or oh three i can't remember what year it came out but it didn't have a side patch on it, but i'm glad they did put the 100th anniversary patch on this and as y'all can see we have the white la logo and this is actually blue in the dark we have a navy upper we have a red visor tunnel out on the rail logo. They did a raised Batman on the back. And we do have that 100 year anniversary patch. Another favorite patch of mine. And this one had the green UV on there, which just set this completely off. And as y'all can see, we have white guts, all the tagging and labeling. But for me, this is a grail hat. And this is probably going to get a lot of wears out of me. Specifically, because you can't really go wrong with navy and red. Super, super dope combo. Happy to have this on the collection. Shout out to Extreme Sport. It came from Hat Heaven. Bam! It is the California Angels. Uh, I needed this one to actually finish off a set that I was doing. Uh, this is the California Angels done up in that A's gold. You can see right there, it has the CA logo done flat embroidery, which is really, really nice. Done up in the team colors. All taxi color, all A's gold color. Flat Batman, plain Jane, nothing on the side. Just a very, very simple, dope, clean hat. And that's why I be talking about some hats just don't need the side patch. Sometimes a dope color with simple team basic colorways could do wonders for a hat. And had a gray UV on the bottom, black guts. And like I said, man, just a simple, clean, dope hat. And I've been getting back into the rhythm of buying more playing games for myself because, like, that is a staple. You need certain playing games in your collection, but definitely happy to have this one. So, shout out to Hat Heaven. This one came from Snipes of all places. <laughs> and BAM! It is the White Sox two tone done in a team colorway. And as y'all can see right here, do have the traditional White Sox colors. As y'all can see, we have a white Sox logo. Gray UV, gray New Era logo. We have a embro uh, we have a raised embroidered. No, excuse me. Batman on the back. We have the 2003 All Star patch, which is not. Uh, I think this is the paper mark one, like the prototype almost, because it doesn't have the size logo on the bottom. Uh, and we have a gray UV, black guts, nothing too out of the way. Just a very dope hat. Have a no button violation matches the crown i mean the visor but just a regular basic team color hat just done up in the doorway so shout out to snipes for this continue with snipes this was another one bam it is another white socks as y'all can see done up in navy instead of black and this is actually a clean one if anybody knows uh from the leaders uh homecoming pack they did do a white sock similar to this the only difference was that was dedicated to jackson state i wasn't able to get it sold out very fast just like a couple of other ones did but this one is probably as close as i'm going to get to it because i'm not paying resale but as y'all can see we do have the white socks logo in white white new era logo and we do have a, a raised batman and we have that 95th anniversary patch done in white black and and gray and we do have gray undervisor and black guts. Very, very nice. A good daily wear for a lot of people. Like I said, can't, certain colors you just can't go wrong with. And this is definitely one of them. Perhaps one of my favorites. And this was a restock. So, bam! We have the Brooklyn Dodgers. Team color 5950, as y'all can see right there. The dark royal blue. I mean, uh, excuse me. The white D on there as well. Tunnel on the logo. White button on the top. Flat Batterman. And we do have the 100th anniversary uh, Centennial patch right here for Jackie Robinson. Very, very nice. Done up in gold. And we have the Kelly Green UV. White guts. 
just a necessary hat if you're a collector of Jackie Robinson memorabilia or anything that just you know commemorate, commemorates Jackie for the most part this is definitely one that you need in your collection another for toppers BAM we have another white socks done up in the team color but the difference between this one is if you can pay attention to that logo it is a flat and broad logo which is very dope in my opinion very 90s super super glad they went with this one i love how that came out reminds me of the uh, pro needle uh uh what it was not the pro needle what's it called not pro standard it's an old company american needle it was an old company but all of them had flat back had flat logos much like that uh california angels but this is super dope in my personal opinion glad i had this one i think ty did a hat similar to this but as y'all can see black new era logo flat batter man on the back we do have what is this, the inaugural the inaugural come uh the inaugural season <laughs> stadium patch yeah wait yeah kaminsky kaminsky park inaugural year super super nice done up in that it looks metallic but i think yeah it's metallic metallic and white and we do have the gray v on here black guts can't go wrong with this super super nice glad to have this one shout out to pat from Topless. no disrespect to the one that i have two of these with two different vendors so i'm no disrespect to the other vendor but i think pat killed this one Damn. We have the New Orleans Zephyrs 5950 done in a two tone. And as y'all can see, this is a beautiful hat, purple crown, peanut butter visor. And if you could take a look at that Z logo, man, we got metallic red with metallic with that copper threading. Also, that metallic icy on there. Super, super dope. Pat, literally killed this hat right here i'm not i'm not bullshitting you this is probably the best zephyr's hat that will release and uh, i believe it yeah he released this late last year but uh i think it's still sitting for the most part but this is a clean ass hat happy to have this one in the collection and we got a flat i mean we got a tunnel out in the world logo raise milb logo plain jane and it did have a red uv white guts this is just a clean fucking hat no cap at all shots out the pack on this one bro and next probably gonna be i'm gonna get to that one last but from my local store sneaker politics bam we have a New Orleans Saints two-tone right here. We do have the sky blue done in the leaf, the leaf green, or it's a mosh green. I forgot what they called it. But as y'all can see right there, we do have that gold, that A's gold, tour yellow, kind of. No, nah, that's more of an outlet gold uh, Saints logo right here. Done with the double outline, as y'all can see. It has that lavender purple on the outer line, and on the inside, it has the pink very very nice tunnel out in the world logo raised nfl logo another 30th anniversary patch very very done nicely done up and it did have a pink uv and white guts politics had put their foot into this one and i actually think this was a dope cop so shout out to them the home team from sneaker politics i did a real good job on that one all right and next we have from my fittest again and this is bam this is the la dodgers done up in that game boy color delicate uh inspired pack as y'all can see we do have the all gray done with a magenta <clears throat> a magenta um la dodgers logo right there that's the uh represent the buttons on there tunnel out new era logo flat uh raised batterman on the back and as y'all can see right there, we have the 60th Dodger Stadium anniversary patch right there. And that's the 
show how like on the screen right there on the screen of the game boy it's this color and how the pixels uh from all the games usually look on the inside of the game shout out to home alone and all those other <laughs> games we had on game boy tetris metroid mega man so shout out to them and we do have a kelly green uv on the underneath with white guts so shout out to john g and the team at my fitness for this one Last but certainly not least, my one of my favorites. Like I said, Pat killed this hat, but John J is no slouch, and he's probably got the second best right here. And bam! It is the New Orleans Zephyrs 59 fitted that is dedicated to, I believe, it's dedicated to Final Fantasy. And as y'all can see right there, we do have the Z's logo with the Florida Leaf bat in the back. Very, very nice. He did, his color placement game is impeccable. John is good with color placement, but Pat just kills it with copper overall. Like, he knows how to work those copper curtains. But as y'all can see, we have a two tone, we have a teal top, a light royal bottom. We have a, not a complete tunnel New Era logo. Flat. I mean, we have a, a, a raised embroidered MILB logo, and we have the waving, the waving flag Jester Z logo on the side patch. These are actually two logos right here, because this is the old logo, this is the newer one. But he put both logos on there, which is very, very nice. Love how that Z's logo came out. And this is kind of a tan. We got a tan under visor on here, a white guts very very clean like i said man john and pat probably did two of the best new orleans milb zephyrs uh has that i've seen in a long ass time and i really can't they killed this bro they really killed this bro john j pat man he both cold bro my, out of all this these are my two favorite the, the minor league hats but uh, let me know in the comment section what y'all think below. And as always, I deeply appreciate each and every last one of y'all. So stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I'm JC Baby, and we in the showroom, and I'm out. You did.